In this video, I'll check the accelerator pedal sensor voltages with an Autel scanner, and then I'll go over some trouble codes. I'll start by going to scan, and now I'll select the car model and engine type. If you're interested in a scanner like this one, I'll have a link to it in the video description. Once the car is selected, I'll go to Diagnosis, select Control Unit, and select Engine and ECT. It will show some information about the module selected, press OK. Now I'll select Live Data, and select Custom List. Now I'll scroll down two pages by pressing the right arrow twice, and I'll select the Excel sensor out number one and number two. These two sensors are for the gas pedal, and the reason there are two is for redundancy, just in case one fails. I'll also select the accelerator position to show us how far the gas pedal is pressed, and I'll select the throttle sensor position as well, which will show us the position of the valve in the throttle body. Now I'll press OK to view the data, and here are the sensor outputs in real time, and here's the normal voltage range for both sensors with the gas pedal released on a 2014 Corolla. Now I'll press the pedal all the way down and hold it. The accelerator position should jump to 100%, the throttle sensor position should increase above 60%, and here are the normal voltages for the sensors with the pedal pressed down. So my values are all normal, however, sometimes problems can happen only for a second or two, so if a problem is detected, the ECM will store a trouble code. Here are some possible codes related to gas pedal problems, and at the moment the code is stored, a freeze frame will also be stored as well. The freeze frame contains a lot of other parameters, like the engine speed, temperature, and vehicle speed, and by using all this additional data, it's easier to figure out when the problem happens. If you found this video useful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing, your support is really appreciated. Thanks for watching!